Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Uh, just a snowy Monday here, or a Tuesday, I don't know what day it is, but uh, doing some boring today. Now here's uh, Brian's block, and you see we got a little bit of a shadow in number four, a little bit of a shadow in number three. Uh, I still have three thousands to go on the hone and I do believe I'll get that cleaned up at 40 not a problem so we'll get that in the hone uh, when I get Travis's block done now Travis has got an M38 block here and this from what I understand was a military rebuild still got the tag on it and uh, it came to me disassembled uh, I believe Travis disassembled it uh, and so, so this is what's going on here. Uh, here is number three, and it's got a very big shadow in it, more than a shadow. It's uh, th this, this is pre-sleeved. Actually, it came to me pre-sleeved. Just so you know that. Okay, now I'm not going to be able to clean. This. <clears throat> I thought I'd clean up in ten when I measured crossways. You normally don't get anywhere in this direction. Uh, I didn't clean up in ten. Uh, I thought I might clean up in 20. Uh, what you're looking at now is a 30 over bore, and I still have more than halfway down uh, a big problem. Number four cleaned up. Uh, it'll probably clean up at 40. Number three will not clean up at 40 in that direction. It's weird to have it wearing in that direction, front to back. Let me get you a shot there. It's weird to have it wear, uh, wear like that. Normally, it's on the major or minor thrust side, like in Brian's here. Um, <clears throat> what I believe happened is when they sleeved it, they didn't bore it square to the top of the block here. Um, now, I can't go any more than 30 on a sleeve. They just get too thin. And that's a problem. So the sleeves are going to have to come out, and we're going to have to re-sleeve it and re-bore it back to standard. Uh, now I got number one sleeve out. Let me see if you can see this. You can see why they sleeved it to begin with. See that long crack running down there? Okay, that's why they sleeved it to begin with. So I've got that sleeve out, and I've got to get the rest of these sleeves out and new sleeves put back in there. I just can't. Uh, if I take this to 40, uh, I'm going to have a thick part of the sleeve here and I'll break through the sleeve on this side. So I can't go to 40 and um, normally 30 is the biggest I like to go to when I put a sleeve in. Uh, so sleeves got to come out and new ones pressed in and then we'll go back to standard and I got to see uh, what's off on this block why you know the, the 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 block wasn't decked so if they bored it with a boring machine like I'm using maybe they got off that way we're nice and flat now here so we're square uh, I don't actually know what's going on with this block but I'm gonna pull the sleeves out and uh, you know sometimes it just just happens this way you don't expect this like I say I measured it in this direction and it was standard bore and I thought I was going to clean up in 10 and, and look where we're at now. So things happen. Travis, uh, hang in there. I, I didn't expect to have to re-sleeve this but uh, it, it has to happen. And uh, you'll be happy in the long run. We just uh, we got to go through some steps now to get it right. So uh, let me get the rest of these sleeves out and uh, I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, got all the sleeves out of Travis's block. Uh, when I measure these guys, the side that's got the shadow in it uh, has never been cut. So when they when they bored this, when they originally put the sleeves in, uh, this is still 93 thousandths thick. Uh, they just tickled that with the cutter and most of the bore was on that side. It was actually crooked, it went down on an angle okay and that is in number three and four one and two not terrible three and four a disaster 
the original bore on the sleeve. Um, I don't know how they got it so crooked, but uh, like I say, we could not save those. Uh, in pressing the sleeves out, we got a little bit more cracking. Uh, so if I can get you in there. There's a crack right from here to here and here to here. So, um, Travis, uh, I'm going to leave it up to you if you want to continue using this block. It is riddled with cracks, and that's why they sleeved it. And I can sleeve it again for you. It's not a problem. I will have to go in here, stitch this up, and stitch this up. Um, <clears throat> if you have another block, uh, I'd probably go with it if you want to save this one. Because it's an M38 block, I can, uh, I can continue on with it. But um, just let me know. Uh, I, d I wasn't expecting it was going to be this ugly, but uh, it is. And sometimes these things happen. You see the crack migrating from there to there and right there. So uh, riddled with cracks. Like I say, that's why they that's why they sleeved it. And like I say, pressing them out doesn't really help anything. But their original bore was so bad, uh, it's, it's nothing that I could have saved for you. So, uh, just let me know what you want to do. Uh, Brian, you're getting ready to go into the, uh, the honing tank. And uh, still got other engines. Uh, that engine needs sleeves. And uh, I got to get going on Lou's engine. Uh, I got an MV engine and naturally Scott's engine we got to get to. So I got to get this area clean, start honing engines. Um, <clears throat> Mark and Larry, you are uh, rounding the finish line. You're almost finished and uh, making progress on everything. But um, Travis, let me know what you'd like to do. Uh, continue with this or move on to another block. Okay, guys, uh, that's all I have for you. Uh, just a quick one. And um, you, you got to get the bore straight when you get sleeves in there. I just uh, there's, there's so many things that have been going wrong with engines lately. And uh, this was a government rebuild, so anything is possible with a government rebuild. But um, Chinese blocks, uh, bad bores, uh, just terrible stuff going on with engines. Uh, I'll get everything figured out for everybody. Don't worry about it. And... Uh, We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time.